So your topic today is to look at the art form of frottage, which is where you create rubbings from an uneven surface and use it to create a work of art. So if you keep watching, I will show you how I have created some frottage art pieces and how you could create some of your own. Happy creating! All you need to create frottage art is a pencil, so it needs to be really sharp because you're not going to draw with it like you usually would. You're going to turn it on your side and use this part of your pencil to rub on the side with to create your frottage rubbings. You also need to look for surfaces in your house that have a little bit of texture to them. So you can either pick those things up, bring them to your work, or you can take your work to them. So if you have a really nice textured floor, then you can just put your paper over the floor and create your rubbings that way. You can also do this using colour pencils, as long as they're sharp, it works just as well. Or if you're lucky enough to have graphite at home, graphite on its side works really well. If not, pencils are absolutely fine for creating this type of art. The start of my frottage art, I have got a piece of kitchen roll, because I can feel it and I can see that it's quite textured and it looks like it's got some nice marks in it. I've got an incense burner holder. I have got a dish because I can see on this side if I go just feel it there it feels quite rough and textured so I think it'll leave some nice marks and I've taken one leaf off my house plant so I'm going to first of all experiment to see what marks they can make before I start creating my frottage art I have experimented with my different rubbings to see what kind of frottage marks I can get. I'm using that one just as my practice sample piece and I'm going to turn over, I'll get another piece of paper and this is where I'm going to create a piece of art from it. So for mine, I'm going to do a sea theme. 